Recently I typed 3D printing into Google Trends and surprisingly I found that it was or rather is the most popular right now, December 2024. And after a little bit of digging, I think I know why. But to properly tell this story, let me start from the beginning. I still remember the first wave of 3D printing when it became popular with Prusa i3, Ender Trees and Anet A8s. These were good times, 3D printing was finally kind of affordable, it was easy to buy a 3D printer. But I remember that I wanted to use my 3D printer to build my projects, but then like 3D printing and 3D printer became a project on its own. There was always something to fix, replace and upgrade, there was a lot of maintenance and I didn't really like it. For me 3D printing was always a tool, not a project, so I treated it just like a drill. You know, you grab it, you do what you are supposed to do and well that's it. But for a lot of people 3D printing became a project and that's totally fine, if you enjoy that it's great. I don't. I don't want to spend time on fixing and upgrading the 3D printer, I just want to use it to create cool stuff. Only once I decided to treat 3D printing as a project and I recycled an old 3D printer and built one based on the i3 design. It was a lot of fun and is definitely a great way to learn pretty much everything about 3D printing. I also got to use my CNC machine to machine the frame. It was a lot of fun, but in the end the quality of these prints, it definitely wasn't the best. I mean the prints were usable, but not very pretty usually. And honestly, these were the printers that I have been using for the last few years. These worked and still work. I would probably still use them, but well, bundle up. I started to see a lot of creators on YouTube using these machines and everyone was very happy with it. Even some of my friends replaced their old printers with bundle up and said only good things about it. So I also wanted to try. There is actually a high chance I deleted an email from Bumble Up and looks like I might not be the only one. It felt like spam at the time. It really felt like spam because it was making some enormous claims. Uh -huh. that it, I sent right? out 10 emails personally to, in, to you know, all kinds of YouTubers. I think I received one or two replies. <laughs> Everybody thought I was a liar. <laughs> when I get an email that sounds too good to be true, I just delete it. And that's probably what happened with Bumble Up. It sounded too good to be true. But the thing is, everything that was promised by them was delivered. So finally, when even my friends that never were into 3D printing bought these printers and started to print very cool things, I decided to try it myself. I got the X1 Carbon, great looking, fully enclosed printer with the IMS. I like the first bumble up so much, then I bought the second one. Shortly after I bought the A1 Mini, as I was very curious to see how such a low cost printer might work. And just recently I got the A1 Mini with the IMS as well. To keep it short, I can simply say that all of them are great, but I have a lot more to say than just that. The truth is that it is not just about the print speed or print quality alone, there is a lot more to that. By making 3D printing way easier and more affordable, more people can try it. And they do. When you look at the Google Trends data, you can clearly see that 3D printing has never been so popular as it is right now. And when you look at the Bumble Up data, it is clearly correlated as the Bumble Up is growing very very rapidly and so does 3D printing. Instead of being this very nerdy tool for a narrow group of people, it's becoming a mainstream way of creating customized products, whether it's small figures or toys or very specific organization solutions that one needs. It's a way to spend time, be creative and express yourself. I don't think we are there yet, but it's a huge step towards the idea of everyone has a 3D printer at home and can print stuff instead of buying it. And it's pretty cool. Seriously, like with all their printers, it wasn't that fun, but now when you can print colors, when it is fast, easy to use and fast to set up, it's really fun. And not just for a nerd like me, but for literally everyone. Why you ask? Plenty of reasons. The print speed is great. It prints between 4 to 6 times faster than my old printers without any print artifacts and decrease in quality. 
Just look at these prints, it's reliable and I can confidently just run the printer and forget as long as there is power and I set the filament properly in the slicer. Other than that, the error rate for me is zero. Literally no failed prints so far. The build quality is obviously great. All the tools you might need to fix the machine are included and on their website you can buy any part you might need. There is a lot of them and the pricing is actually quite reasonable. But so far I didn't have to fix or replace a single part, not even a nozzle. Speaking of maintenance, the printer will let you know when you need to lubricate the rails or do any fixes on it and the tutorials on their website have everything very detailed and pretty often include a video. Let's move on to AMS because I think a huge part of the success of these printers is caused by this system. It stands for Automatic Material System and it lets you print in multiple colors so that you can create things like this. I would recommend getting the AMS even if you do not want to print multiple colors because it's so cool to load 4 filaments and then just select in the slicer which one you want to print with. And when you want to change a filament you don't even need to heat up the printer or turn it on, you can just pull out the filament and put the new one in place. It's really easy. Depending on the printer there is the AMS and AMS Lite. Both were great but when it comes to the design I'm definitely a fan of this box type design and if you have space, which I don't, you can stack it on top of the printer, which makes for a very clean setup. Obviously there are printers, there is AMS, but there is another very important part that makes Bumble Up so cool and that is Maker World, where people can share their designs, including models already prepared for printing, which means you can just simply grab your phone and start a print from there without slicer, without computer, which is pretty handy. The app also includes wireless control and monitoring and gives you a notification when the print is done. It's a small feature, but so helpful. But wait, there is more. When you upload your models on Maker World, you can collect points and boosts that can be exchanged for gift cards that you can use to buy filaments or even printers. And there are also contests organized all the time for the best models and the models that people share there are truly amazing. I'm not really into scrolling Instagram or TikTok, but I admit to scrolling Maker World from time to time to find inspiration and cool models to print. And there are a lot of cool models. If you are on a budget and want to start with just $200, go with A1 Mini. It's a great small printer that I use all the time and enjoy a lot. Slightly more expensive but also bigger in size is the A1. But if your budget allows it, I would choose the P1S or X1 Carbon to have the enclosed chamber and very nice clean design. For all of these printers you can choose if you want to get it with the AMS or without and you can also buy the AMS later separately without the printer. And if you don't believe me that these printers are so cool, go on YouTube, see other videos. There are people that run Bumble Up printers for the total of over 100 thousand printing hours and are super happy with them. Bumble Up truly changed 3D printing and I'm glad they did because the increase of popularity of these machines means more people interested in this hobby, more cool models and better future for the community. Thanks for watching.